Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little experimenting. I have absolutely no guarantee that this is going to go correctly. So I was talking with Anna from Nerdy Mama Diapers about how maybe we could test the speed of absorbency with different textiles. Different textiles perform different ways and it's not just a matter of whether or not it's hemp, bamboo, or cotton. It's also a matter of the type of weave, the type of textile, whether it's a fleece, whether it's a woven, whether it's a double loop terry. There's a ton of different factors. So just even like diving into that world is complex and overwhelming. So we're gonna try to super simplify it because there are two products on the market that I consider to be very similar and that is the AMP bamboo and the AMP hemp inserts. So these are two flannel based inserts. This I believe is the hemp which is 55% hemp 45% cotton very standard hemp blend and then a bamboo and this is 70% bamboo, 30% cotton, and these are AMP products. products. Probably the closest that you'll get because they're just, they're two layers. Right now I am noticing there is a size difference. Um, so that's gonna skew our results a little bit today, but we're just gonna do a basic, we're gonna try this. I have absolutely no guarantees that it's gonna work. I'm gonna publish this video because I want your feedback. Let's be a collective mind and think about how we could best do this, especially considering that there are a variety of different blends, mixes out there. So I've got two little water cups today. I'm gonna use my back wall. I'm gonna use this camera with a high, slow shutter thing. I don't know. We set it up so that maybe it will work. We are also gonna use a little bit of warmer temperature, room temperature water. And I was gonna use food dye, but Anna from Nerdy Mama's Diaper suggested maybe like a washable marker so that I could wash out the dye and repeat this experiment through a dried out Mr. Sketch scented marker in here. And I am coloring the water in an attempt to make a little bit of colored water because then we can see it go up. You will notice there is some staining on this insert to begin with because I got a little bit of an ink. So they weigh the same. They're both 28 grams. Awesome, so 28 grams of a hemp, bam hemp cotton, 28 grams of a bamboo cotton. You guys, I know that they weigh different amounts on different days sometimes. Don't ask me why that happens, but today they weigh the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this so that it sits in here at the bottom and I was gonna push pin it into the wall. What do we think? Do we think that's gonna work? Ah! Are you ready? So it's been two minutes and it's about here. I'm actually surprised it's not uptaking more. It seems to be much slower to absorb than I gave it credit for. This one is the hemp blend. Sometimes experiments fail. I'm wondering like, do you think that my experiment is failing because I am not using colorful dye? Guys, feedback. What do you think is a good way for us to measure the uptake of any particular liquid. So has been in there for about five minutes. I don't know if that actually did anything. Can you tell a difference? Can you tell how much liquid was absorbed? Honestly, it looks about the same. Like it only got about an inch. See? Also my dye, not strong enough. Let's weigh these and see if anything changed. So one fluid ounce, one fluid ounce. So I don't think that that worked. I don't think that showed me what I wanted to know. I wanna know if hemp is actually a slower absorber than bamboo. 
And is it only a slower absorber in other forms like when you're using maybe something like this, which is a, a tight weave, or is it a fast absorber? Do you know what I'm trying to say? So the other one that she suggested that we do was drop a drop. I don't have a squeeze dropper, but I do have teaspoons and tablespoons. So we're gonna try this with a teaspoon and tablespoon. I know you can't see it right now, but I do have this little camera set up. We're gonna push the play button and we're gonna just do these one at a time. I'm pretty sure that the blue one absorbed a little bit quicker than the green one. And the blue one is the hemp blend, not the bamboo. Maybe we'll replay that again. Maybe my timing is off. Maybe my spooning is wrong. But I still think... I don't know. Okay, you can see that the green one, which is bamboo, is taking much longer to absorb. What does that mean? This is just one trial. But maybe there is nothing to the assumptions made about different textiles. I also only ever noticed this in slow motion. To the naked eye while I was playing with it, there was not this noticeable difference. You guys, like anytime that I've ever just poured like five ounces straight onto a hemp insert, it's absorbed. I've never seen any delay, not any noticeable delay, not anything that I feel is significantly different than another product out there if there's one i think that's where we're gonna leave it there so join the conversation in the comments talk to me about how maybe we could best understand the quickness of absorbency i really want to break down a lot of myths that hemp is this magically slow fiber because i really don't think it is i think there are a lot of other benefits and pros and cons, different textiles out there that we really should be talking about rather than these assumptions created off some basic Pinterest chart where I don't even know where they got their information. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm standing today. I love it if you, yeah. So I love it if you give me some feedback, hit that subscribe button if you wanna to continue to have this conversation, see more great cloth diaper videos, and until next time. I wanted to also add that looking back through the footage of this little experiment that I did today, it really shows liquid in a cloth diaper doesn't move like you might expect it to. It really does saturate right in and it takes a lot of time, if not it will never, move from the front to the back of the diaper unless for some reason I don't, I don't really know how that happens in a diaper I was just looking at the footage and with all of the tests we really saw the liquid really saturated where it is so if you're having problems with leaks and the back of the diaper maybe is dry and you feel your diaper is a good quality it might be beneficial to look at those different types of folds Girl taking an insert like this and then adding the bulk of your absorbency wherever it is that your child pees. For the most part, boys are seen to pee up at the front and girls will pee at the front and it typically goes to the back. So if that's something to think about when you're looking at how you're layering your absorbency and how you're fitting all of those pieces together for your cloth diaper experience. That's all I wanted to pop on and add now that I've been kind of watching some of that footage and that slow-mo 